December 2020 LEGO Ideas results are in, and they are quite surprising. Chosen projects include Home Alone the McAllister House, Seinfeld 30th Anniversary, and the Typewriter. Alright, now before I start, I'll address the elephant in the room. I semi-expected Ratatouille to maybe not make it as much as I would love that set. However, I am shocked that The Legend of Bionicle didn't make it. I mean, it just seemed like it's such an obvious choice. It's your own IP, and it's celebrating 20 years of a once-beloved LEGO theme. And I thought with LEGO wanting to please the fans lately, I thought they would pick it, so I was very surprised here. I mean, I don't really understand why it would be rejected. I mean, maybe it's because of the 2015 Gen 2 sets not selling well, or some Bionicle fans being put off by the minifigures. Maybe even there's that possibility actual philosophy is suggesting is that maybe they rejected it because they had their own plans, but doubtful. So it's a shame. It would have been a neat set. I mean, there was also lots of cool projects here, like also the Aquarium Long to a set, so maybe it was just tough competition. Anyways, back to the actual projects that were picked. My favorite of the three is the Home Alone McAllister House. Because obviously I love Lego, and Home Alone is my favorite Christmas movie, and one of my favorite movies in general. So I was very excited to see that Lego Home Alone is happening, and that we're getting a set of this iconic house. And it looks like it's going to have a little bit of a dollhouse quality to it, which that can be a lot of fun. And of course, you even get to recreate the different amazing moments from the movie. Although, I don't know what that piano is all about. Although, I don't think they'll be able to sneak Angel of Filthy Souls in there, for obvious reasons. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Now, of course, the only thing I wonder with this set is how they're going to handle the size, because this original project is pretty big. I even went back and checked, and they did say that the original project is 3,000 pieces. So unfortunately, that means unless they downsize it, the set is probably going to be at least $200. You heard it here first. It did honestly surprise me that this set made it uh, through because there has been other projects that they rejected like this before. Also, Home Alone is 20th Century Fox, and this is the, really the first 20th Century Fox set I can think of that have gotten to the top of my head. It could also be because Disney buying Fox and having a reboot on the way. However, it's definitely a pleasant surprise. And again, my Christmas season isn't complete without this movie, so can't wait for the set to go with that. And I sure hope this gets a December release. That would be perfect. Anyways, talked about that long enough, and I got breezed through the other ones sometime. Typewriter is interesting. This was another one that me and some people thought could have possibly had a chance, so, and it makes sense. And I do remember me and my sister finding an old typewriter and writing our own stories on it as kids. It looks like it is supposed to be a working typewriter, so that would be neat to try out. My only concern with this set is, sure, this set will work for the adults who remember typewriters, but do much kids even know what typewriters are anymore? I mean, they could just uh, type on their iPhone 12s now. And also similar concern to the upcoming piano, I do worry that they could overprice it because of the functions. But hey, if it's a decent price, it'll look good on a desk. Alright, then lastly we've got Seinfeld. Phew, good thing I got that right, because sometimes I say Seinfeld. And I don't have too much to say on this one, because I don't have much connection to Seinfeld. I mean, okay, sure, I've seen some clips here and there, and I even had a military brother-in-law who's called Sign was from Seinfeld. Oh, and that music. Answer joke with laugh track here. But yeah, it is interesting that this is our third LEGO sitcom set, maybe four if you count The Simpsons. So because of this, some amount of people are very mixed about this, some thinking that it's different enough, and some people thinking it's the next NASA. I mean, I think I even saw a comment somewhere that thinking that this living room is basically a reskin of Big Bang Theory. Can't unsee that again. Definitely enough, I'm kind of having the same reaction to this as I did the LEGO Friends set. But definitely great for fans of the show, and very interesting to see these characters in LEGO form. Also, the fact that we're going to be getting a LEGO Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about the show about nothing. And yeah, those are the results. And again, very surprising, yet interesting. Kind of one of those results where I, I could see why people would love it, and I could see why some people would be disappointed. Because I sure saw a lot of people cheering on Bionicle and Ratui. I mean, even I kind of was to an extent. Still pretty good picks, and I can see these having a more wider appeal with the general public. And I can't wait to get my hands on that Home Alone set. I mean, if that doesn't release this December, I'm going to be practicing my Kevin scream. And I can't wait for that massive full uh, review of Lego Ideas. That's going to be interesting. And the review after that with Avatar. Please approve. Please approve. Please, please, please. Oh, sorry, watching through it now. Anyways, what do you think of these results? Are you satisfied or are you a little bit disappointed? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and be sure to subscribe for more future content. That's all for now. Thanks, and until next time, keep the change you fit.